Hey guys, in this episode we're gonna be talking about how to replicate data tables in Hotwire from scratch. So data tables is a library that uses jQuery on the client side to allow you to show and filter a table. Um, you can choose how many entries you want to display per page. You can filter by a location and you have pagination and you can sort um, alphabetically by name or position or office or whatever. So we're going to be recreating this using Hotwire in Rails. So let's go ahead and create a new Rails app. Um, I am on Rails version 7, so we're going to say Rails new Hotwire data tables. And we'll let this get created. And once this is done, we're going to upgrade the Turbo Rails library to the latest version on GitHub because that has um, Turbo 7.1 RC2. So that's going to give us a little bit of the latest features that we can take advantage of here. So we'll go to our gem file and we'll find Turbo Rails. And instead of using that version, we're going to say GitHub Hotwired Turbo Rails. And then at the bottom, we'll add a couple other gems. So we want the faker gem so we can generate some fake employees to match kind of the same table that we saw in the data tables example. Um, then we're also going to add pagey. And pagey, I believe, is version 5.5 now for pagination. Then we're going to have the pg search gem. And this one, I believe, is uh, 2.3. And once we've added those, we're going to run bundle to install them. And then from here, uh, we want to run um, our Rails generate scaffold employee. And our model is going to have a name, a position, an office, an age, and a start date. And that one's going to be a date, and age is going to be an integer. We can run Rails db system change to postgresql because i forgot to use that flag when we um, started up so that's going to add the postgres gem and we'll be able to use the pg search against our postgres database if you're using mysql or sqlite you could use light queries to filter you could also use elasticsearch or melee search or any other tool for filtering your results then we're going to run Rails DB create and DB migrate to create our database and migrate that new table. I'm going to open up our db seeds.rb file and paste in some code here.